Alright guys, so, let me tell you my thoughts on Streets of Rage 4, but first, let me take you back, let me take you way back to 1992. My Sega Genesis, this is the only game that I ever bought on launch day. I'm going to start a new game here. The only game that I ever bought on launch day, um, I had a Genesis. I didn't have a Super Nintendo at the time. I eventually did get one, but at this time I didn't have it. Back in the fight. And because I didn't, I was not able to play Street Fighter. Streets of Rage 2 was coming out, and I wanted a fighting game, right? Um, I had read. I remember Game Pro magazine and the reviews on this game were awesome. Now I knew that it was going to be um, Street Fighter, of course, but I wanted a fighting experience and I was really due for a game. Like I deserved a game. I had been working really hard. <laughs> My son had just been um, born um, and my wife was pregnant again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I if I'm if I'm not mistaken, she was pregnant again. Um when I bought it. And since I had to spend time at home, of course after work, this is how I decided to spend my time was playing games. And it was the only game, like I said, that is um that I bought on launch day. Oh man. And let me tell you something. Um the controls, even though the game doesn't look like, you know, the 16-bit Streets of Rage. The fighting mechanics, the hit detection, the control is on point, and it's very similar to, if not straight-up cloning of the Streets of Rage series. Uh, Streets of Rage 2 was my personal favorite, you know, out of all of them. I did get to play three, and I traded in that game for some reason. Um, I, I can't even remember why, to tell you the truth. I never owned one at all. Um, I didn't play it until afterwards in emulation. And I could never be a good streamer, I don't think so, because <laughs> I can't talk and play at the same time. Let's see. These guys with the knives are so annoying sometimes, I swear. But yeah, you know, all the characters are here, the new ones, the classic ones, um, and just like everybody else, I had uh, my trepidation about this, the art of the game, you know, it just seems, you know, like shovelware <laughs> for your phone, um, but, you know, once you play it, and what really makes it flow is the mechanics, like I said. You know, you, you don't uh, notice as much, or you don't start thinking about the fact that it's not a 16-bit uh, game. Because you can punch enemies, you can throw, you have special moves like I'm doing here. I have that back punch, which I used to love doing. One of my favorites. There you go. And uh, fighting the bosses, man, I, I, I got so much enjoyment out of my Streets of Rage 2 game, uh, and I better have for what I paid for it. Now, believe it or not, back in the day, and I remember this specifically at Toys R Us, um, this game was seventy-two dollars. There was nothing else. It, there was nothing else that could match it. And it was that hot, you know, like they could charge that much for the game because they knew, you know, you weren't going to get <laughs> anything else, anything better um, for the system at the time. And I'm telling you, I got every single dime out of my $72 because I played the crap out of that game. I mean, morning, noon, night. Um, Whenever I had a chance, whenever I had any free time, what was I doing? 
playing Streets of Rage 2. Oh man, I better get that apple. And I remember the characters, I remember the music. You know, the music in the game's really me memorable, you know, and that's the one thing that this game does right, it makes you feel right at home, is the music. Um, and they had some big, big shoes to fill. Oh yeah, look at those punches, nice and crisp. Uh-oh, I died. I was about to get my, my food on. I knew the chicken was there. Um, but remember these birdie-type dudes? They're there. These are new. These cholos are new. A little white dude keeps on popping up. But there's enough of the old ones. Now, one of the things I really like about the game is... I mean, there's several things, but one of them is this right here. Punching the car. Nice, uh, old, uh, Capcom type action, you know? And I really appreciate it. There's a, a bunch of little detail that they gave to this game that, um, really, really make it enjoyable. One of the things that I love is the interactive environments, you know, especially the holes now that you can throw uh, the enemies down a hole. That's pretty freaking awesome. I'm always doing that. I find particularly enjoying <laughs> just a joy of torturing those guys and sending them into the hole. It's one of my favorite things. You don't want to get shanked? Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, overall, and I think for, I mean, I got this on the Game Pass, so I didn't even pay for it, you know, technically, but more than willing to pay the $22 or you know, whatever it's coming out for. It's like 20 Well worth it. No qualms about it. You know, I wouldn't hesitate two seconds in buying this game. It's not only the nostalgia. It is a good fighter. It is a good, good fighting game. You know? Good um, fighting game, but, you know, good beat em up call them all fighting games back in the day because <laughs> we didn't know any better right um, but yeah I mean it has everything that you need it has the enemies breakable force fields are pretty cool this guy's new for example and I miss a couple of the old ones from um, in the second game specifically the the ninjas I haven't seen yet a couple of the karate dudes that were pretty cool jump in. Um, that I miss. But overall, man, it's been a great experience. And one of the coolest things was getting to share this game with my grandson. You know, which is a trip because I used to um, show this game more than anything. To, oh, here's an interactive environment I was talking about. Get electrocuted. Lost my train of thought there. But yeah, sharing it with my grandson. A game that, a series that I had shared with my son. You know, that was pretty awesome. There you go. Oh man, in so much time, right? 1992, I think it was. Yeah, 1992. I want to say 92, man. It's been such a long time. You know, I never thought I'd start saying things like, Oh, that was 20 years ago. Um, you know, and it happens to everybody. It'll happen to you one day. Something will be 20 years old. Like you didn't expect it to be. Um, you know, and, and it's just super weird for me, you know, thinking these games that were defining my generation now are relics, really. I mean, they're just older games. Uh, older type games. Uh, when they came out, they were you know, the latest and greatest in technology and, and what have you, but you know, times change and we have to change with them. But yeah, you know, I don't I don't look at it as a bad thing. You know, it's kind of bittersweet sometimes, you know. 
um, to think about, you know, these games that now they're classics, <laughs> you know, um, and it's sort of like when I listen to the radio station now, um, and I listen to music that I used to, that I grew up with, that I liked, that I thought was cool, that I thought was awesome. And it, they call it the oldie station. I mean, that is like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's more than weird, man. <laughs> it's just like, if you didn't know you were old, now you know for sure, you know? Um, and it's just one of those things, man. I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't change my experience for the world. I think I, I grew up in an awesome time of gaming where I'm getting to see everything that gaming has had to offer over the years. And to watch a game change like this, and me being a little prejudiced about it, thinking, you know, I'm just not going to like it, I'm not going to enjoy it, I don't like the graphics, um, sort of made me learn something, or relearn something, again, they keep telling people, it's always about the gameplay, right? Uh, it's always about the gameplay, but I didn't... I didn't follow my own creed, right? Because I, I was judging this game straight on graphics. One of the things I always say, well, don't judge a game based on graphics. Right? A good game could have crappy graphics and still be a good game. Um, and I wasn't giving this game its fair due, its fair shot, right? So, you know, you can always learn something and kept me humble. There you go, girl. Let me get my pipe. There you go. That's what you guys need. Oh yeah. You know, and hitting people with pipes is also something that never gets old. Ah, this chick. Tell me. If she hits me with that electric snake one more time. <laughs> yeah. There was a cut couple of times back in the day, you know, especially when I started, uh, first started playing the game, that um, I remember quitting a couple of times because I was frustrated, to say the least, right? Um, but not so much with this game, you know, even when I lose, it's probably because of nostalgia, I mean, it's just, it's just a, it's such an awesome feeling you know, to be playing this game again. But, you know, what can I say? If you guys can get a hold of it, I suggest Heading Streets of Rage 4. If you enjoy beat em ups, it is a solid one. My score, it's a 7.5, but I gotta give it another point just because of the nostalgia and because I gotta play with it with multiple generations of my family. So, that's what I, those are my thoughts on the game, guys. I hope you guys have a great, great Saturday. I...